if you could take a stethoscope and listen to the brain of a depressed person, the odds are what you would hear is one part of the person beating up another part of the person. Depression is really a pretty widespread phenomenon. And conservatively, 5 to 15 percent of people will have an episode of major depression in the course of their lives. In the 1950s, when the first antidepressants were discovered, there has been a great deal of work to develop new medications. We started out with two, and now there are more than uh, 25. A lot of people are being given those drugs. I mean, they're handed out like candy. And the pharmaceutical industry has convinced doctors in general that the SSRIs in particular are safe, effective, and well tolerated. That's the mantra that the docs hear from the sales reps who come to their offices all the time. I'm sad because I have a biochemical imbalance in my serotonin. It's absolutely ridiculous. Only billions of dollars could keep that kind of nonsense afloat. You don't want to just have somebody throw pills at you. You have to talk about your life, you have to talk about your feelings, you have to talk about your childhood. You have to learn about how to be connected to yourself and connected to uh, other people. What do you do, though, when you, you do have a thought about maybe this is more than just the blues? Where do you go? Where do you find the help? 